Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP ProBook X360 11G5 computer. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access, and upgrade your storage, your solid state drive. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these three screws on the right of my screen, these three screws on the left of my screen, and this screw here in the middle. Once you get those screws out, we're gonna flip the computer over to the palm rest, and you're gonna take a small flat pry tool, and you're gonna go across this seam between your palm rest and your bottom case, and pry the palm rest up from inside your bottom case. Now go nice and slow. Uh, be careful, don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some things, keep it on the edge. Be nice and firm. And if you get stuck in one part, leave it alone, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your palm rest free, I found it easy to get up from the back here near the hinge assemblies. I found that easiest to get up. Once you get it free, don't just pull the palm rest right up and off. We have to unhook some ribbon cables first before we pull that palm rest off. As you can see here, this is the back end I was talking about. There's my hinge assembly. That's the back end of the computer. And this is my palm rest angled up a little bit so you can see inside. There's three ribbon cables still connected to the motherboard from the palm rest, the largest one here being your keyboard ribbon cable. Now we have to unplug these before we can remove the palm rest. In order to do that, these clips right here, these are very breakable guys, very fragile. Uh, the way these are designed is there's a black retainer clip that opens and shuts like a book cover. The open side where it opens is the ribbon cable side and it hinges right here in front of you right there. So the way to get these out is to use your fingernail or a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath that black retainer clip from this side, from the far side, pop it up gently, and then you can slide the ribbon cable out. And that goes for these as well. The reason why these are so fragile is because that black clip right there is very breakable. And if you break it, you most likely cannot find a replacement. They're very hard to find without buying another motherboard. And in which case your ribbon cable cannot securely fasten in there again. So again, be very careful with those. Once you get those ribbon cables up, however, you can remove your palm rest. And this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools and supplies, as well as any replacement parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above also below in the description that takes you to a list of all those tools, supplies, and parts, again, for this specific model computer. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or unplug my battery. The battery in this computer cannot be unplugged without removing the battery. So in this case, I would remove the battery. So you have four screws near each of the white arrows next to each of the four corners. You remove those screws and the battery pulls out and unhooks from right here on the motherboard. Just be careful of these speaker wires because they run alongside the battery. Be careful not to pull those up when you're removing the battery. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. You have a single M.2 port right here for your solid state drive. There's a single screw right here toward the speaker that holds down the solid state drive. Once you undo that screw, the solid state drive will release. It should even pop up a little bit, and then you can pull it up towards the speaker out of this M.2 port right there. Now, this is an M.2 port SATA 3 uh, 2280, so you can fit Gen 3 solid state drives in here. I believe this one was a 128 gig, so kind of small. Um, in that link below in the description with the replacement parts for this computer, I'll try to have a couple upgrade options for you guys. I'll put in a 500 gig option and a terabyte option um, if you wanted to upgrade this solid state drive. Keep in mind too, after you replace your storage device, whether your hard drive or solid state drive on any computer, you will have to install an operating system onto that drive in order to use the computer. 
I will also have two links below in the description to two different videos. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto an HP computer. The other will show you how to install Windows 11 onto an HP computer so you know how to do that after you've completed this replacement process. And as a reminder, if you guys are in the middle of some sort of repair, maybe your computer wasn't working in some way, um, if replacing the storage and installing an operating system fixes it, then great. I'm glad your computer's running. If it didn't fix it, and if you're trying to troubleshoot an error that you can't figure out, please leave me a message. I can try to help you through whatever problem it is you're looking to fix. As far as the RAM in this computer, if you notice there is no RAM here, um, the RAM is integrated into the motherboard on this computer. So there's no removable, replaceable RAM. It's just what you have on the motherboard. So if you did want to upgrade your RAM, you can't really do that as easily as we just upgraded the solid state drive. You would need to either get an external memory setup or you would have to swap out this motherboard for another motherboard with more RAM if your computer did come with that option. So first see if this model computer did come with that. If it did, maybe you can find a motherboard online, Amazon, eBay, something like that. If it doesn't come with a higher RAM option, then your options are, are, are limited. You probably can't just replace the motherboard. But that's how you access your solid state drive. And unfortunately, no RAM uh, in this computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.